Everybody these days wants to run a free Minecraft server for their friends, so today I'm going to be showing you how to run a completely free Minecraft server on Minefort. What's cool about Minefort is that it's like one giant network that allows players to connect to any server using slash server and then the server name to join that server. It's very similar to Minehut if you've ever used that, but Minefort allows cracked players while Minehut doesn't. We'll be comparing both Minehut and Minefort later in the video where I give my review. I made a video on Minefort a while ago, but it's changed quite a bit since then, so I thought I'd make an updated tutorial on it. Anyways, if you subscribe, I'll do the Fortnite default dance on stream, and let's get your server set up and ready to play. All right, so the first thing that you'll want to do is head to the first link in the description, and that will take you here to Minefort. So we want to go to get started free. And now we want to type in our email address. Make sure you own this email because you will have to verify it soon. So we want to then set a password and we need to confirm it. Click yes and write and agree to their terms of service and then click on this. And now we need to activate our account. So you'll want to head to your email and you should see one right here. If you don't see it in your inbox, you'll want to go to your all mail or your spam folder, but it was in my inbox for me. So we can just click on verify my email address. And there we go, our email has been verified. So now we need to create our server. We can either choose the default server or the template server. So these are actually kind of cool. We got creative plots, skyblock, skygrid, parkour, spiral, hardcore SMP, or creative void. So even if you don't decide to go with Minefort, you can use these templates. You can just make a server for all of these and then get their free templates. We're just going to go with the default server so that way we can customize it however we'd like and we can make our server name whatever we want. So we want to click on, we agree to the Minecraft EULA. This will accept the EULA TXT for you. So we can go ahead and either start our server, but first I want to show you some of the things on their panel. So over here we have our connect support so we can allow cracked and bedrock. So this hosting has crack support, mine hut doesn't. So that's kind of where you can draw the line on if you want to use mine or mine hut so we will allow cracked our server appearance so we can change our server name if you don't like whatever we want we can set our server motd you can choose your icon i only have the default icon because i'm on the free plan and we can choose if we want this to show up to all the random players in the mine fort lobby or if you want to make it so it's invisible and only people that know the server name can join it. So we can choose a category here. I'm just going to go with default because I'm a default. Plugins, we have a little plugin installer right here. If you don't know how to install plugins, we can make backups. We only have one backup though, but that's still nice that they give you at least one backup. Here's our file manager, but for larger files, you want to use an FTP. I probably should make a video about how to do that. And over here we have their shop so you can buy a different icon for your server if you want. There's one over here for $150. I don't know why you would do that. I guess you just don't like money. But I mean, if you really want that, then go right ahead, buy that. I'm definitely not going to be buying that anytime soon though. And over here we can upgrade our server. So if you want a little bit more than the free plan because like the free plan is not 24 seven. So you can upgrade to the cottage plan for $6 a month, which is pretty cheap, you know? and thinking about you'll be getting all those players so it might be worth it and you can have more players you can have more ram so i mean it might be worth it it's up to you but definitely give this hosting a try before you decide to purchase that that's why they have free servers it's like a free trial so now i want to go ahead and start our server up wow watching this console is so much fun a few moments later okay now our server has started up so we can type some commands like pl to see our plugins that we have installed so we have minefort cosmetics and via version this minefort cosmetics is all their cosmetics so you can't disable it unless you're on a premium plan but honestly i don't know why you'd want to disable it and then we have via version which basically means that we can join on versions that are newer than the server version so we can do slash or just version to view our version which is pufferfish 1.20.1 pufferfish is a fork of paper that is a little bit more optimized so that means that we're going to be getting like the most out of our server resources that we can so now to join our server we can copy our ip all right so to join our server we want to click on multiplayer and then we can click on add server we can change the server name to whatever we want you can just change it to like that if you want to and then we can put in we can paste our server address with control v and then click done scroll all the way to the bottom 
and now we can join it. And here we go. We are in our free Minecraft server. It's very plain, but we chose default. So now you can like do whatever you want to this server, make it like the next high pixel or something. So now we can join our server from the Minehut lobby. So you'll want to connect to play.minefort.com or just minefort.com. And you can do slash server and then your server name, which is whatever we want. And there we go, we're back in our server again. Okay, so to prove this works on Minecraft Bedrock, we can go click on play, click on servers, and then we want to scroll all the way to the bottom, click add server. We can set the server name wherever we want. Minefort, play.minefort.com is the server address, and then leave the port as 19132. Click on save. Here it is right here, click join server. Whenever you see locate server, you know that's usually a good thing, you know? And here we are, but for some reason these look like purple. I feel like that's because I was like testing with texture packs and I failed. But yeah, now we can do slash server whatever we want. And here we go, we're back in whatever we want again. So now that you've seen how this hosting works, you're probably like, what the heck does Crafted Croy think about this hosting? Well, to start off, I like how simple it is to get your server started up. No annoying Discord verification, not too many ads, and a very clean and easy to understand UI. I also really like the free templates that they give you. And as for if the server lags or not, the first time I joined, the chunks took a while to load in, but after that, it seemed to be fine. Now, as always, free servers are typically run on weaker hardware than premium servers, so if you can afford it, I would definitely recommend upgrading to the cottage option because you will be able to make your server 24 7 and you'll have a lot better performance from your server and now to the debate between minehut and minefort which it's really up to you i made a video on minehut a while back and i also made a video where i compared both minehut and minefort so go check those out but the main takeaway from that video was that minefort is a lot smaller than minehut meaning that you can top the charts on Minefort a lot easier than you can competing with all those massive servers on Minehut. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think about Minefort or if there's another free hosting that you prefer. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe so I'll have to do the Fortnite default dance on stream. But until next time, I will see you on the other side. Happy crafting. Fortnite default dance.